Hello everybody, it's Vortec here. Welcome back to our RimWorld Let's Play. It's the 10th episode in our third colony, Alpha 8. And I really hope this isn't the last one. <laughs> I love this series and I'm only going to do this little uh, maybe announcement at the beginning of this video just in case this turns out to be the last episode. Uh, we did start a new game on the channel called Stranded Deep and as you guys know, I do like to keep... Uh, to a three game maximum on my channel, but I will not end RimWorld uh, un or without you know a proper ending for these guys. Unfortunately, this might have to be the ending. So if you guys watched the last episode, we got uh, hit by this. We didn't really get hit by it. We got this thing fallen from the sky here. Uh, it's this crashed ship part. And what you're supposed to do is destroy it and an AI core uh, is supposed to most certainly pop out. Now, Upon going to try to destroy it, we had this guy come and attack us. So now everyone is in medical beds and not in good shape. So I have the game paused right now and I really want to assess the situation because luckily this has been a colony full of people with medical abilities. Therefore, Vortac being the only one still standing, uh, he is our only hope in kind of like saving these guys and luckily because of his overview, uh, he is not that bad at doctoring. So, right now, I'm going to bump his doctoring priority up a little bit, um, to, I'd say, a two. Because there's no fires to fight, so, uh, he's gonna make saving his colonist friends his number two pro In fact, well, I'm gonna leave it at that, just in case I do save them and forget about this. I was gonna say, it should be number one, because if he becomes a patient, that's it, we're done. <laughs> Uh, so hopefully nothing bad happens to us while we are trying to revive our colonists. That's really all I can do in this episode. Try to revive them, and maybe if if they come back and are fully healed, then we can go check out that ship and try to get the AI core. Hopefully there's more monsters hiding inside of it. So we have a mental break for Vortac and Squitch, uh, and Weem is also very stressed out at the moment. They're all pretty stressed out. Uh, that's also a problem because of Vortec has a mental break. That's also it. Um, all right. So let's see what his thoughts are. He's urgently hungry. Uh, and then psychic drone. Low. Observed corpse. Bummed him out. Cramped environment. Okay. Weem uh, is starving. It looks like most of their problems are coming from the lack of food. Uh, witnessed Allie's death. That's, yeah, the wind. <laughs> <laughs> that would bum me out too. Okay, so because most of their problems revolve around food, maybe their health isn't that bad. Let's check it out. We have uh, blood loss and blood loss and starvation in the whole body, and then gunshots throughout the body. There, we got Weem in much worse shape. Uh, blood loss, starvation. Whew. Okay, so how do we go about this? How do we get them to eat? Because we're they're gonna die of starvation. Like we might already be screwed. Mm. All right. Well, first things first. They're laying there. We can't lose all the colonists. So I think I'm going to make Vortac, uh, or undraft him. And I really don't know if I can prioritize him eating. But let's turn on time. Let's see. Let's turn on time and slowly kind of. Let him do what he's going to do. It looks like he's going to go for the medical kit. I need him to go for the food. But I don't think I have any simple meals laying around. Uh, cannot haul berries. Um, and it's also freezing. That's the other problem. Uh, it is... The sun looks like it's about to come out, but it's been... It's 20 degrees outside. So our colonists are going to be freezing to death soon. And he's walking into a freezer, so that can't help either. He's grabbing the medical kit, though. Oh, man. Come on, Vortac. You can do it. It's It should be getting a little bit warmer. It looks like it's getting brighter outside, but now we're down to 14 degrees. Ooh. So how are you guys today? Uh, let me know in the comments, cause, just because I'm losing hope. And we're 10 episodes in, so even if we do get more episodes out of this, let me know in the comments. How do you guys feel about the series? What's, uh, what's your favorite part about it? Uh, what do you like most about the RimWorld series? Okay, he's throwing some medical supplies at Weem. I really hope he gets himself some food. Uh, I don't know how to prioritize that at all. 
Vortex treated Weem, good quality. Okay, good. So there's hope for Weem. But we need to, we can't force him to eat. No longer incapable of walking. That's good. So Vortex a pretty good doctor. I suppose now all we can do is wait for Vortex to decide to go eat some food and feed his friends. Weem is back up. That's awesome. So, nice. There might be hope for this colony yet. The problem we're having now, though, is obviously with uh, power and heat. They don't have any heat at all, but they're both going for the nutrient paste. Oh, good, good, good. They're fixing their starvation. Um, let's see. What's this? Vortex has given up and is wandering around in days. I saw that coming. Um, in that case... We're gonna have to try to capture him, but Weem is so far just trying to help Squitch. Hmm. If I, let's pause real quick. If I draft Weem, what are my options here? I can arrest Vortac. Uh, let's, let's let him finish what he's doing. And then we will try to arrest Vortac so he doesn't, you know, we don't lose sight of him. That way we can kind of force feed him a little bit and try to let him shake off the wandering around in the days. Developed an infection in her right leg. I really hope Squitch doesn't get, uh, need an amputation. Hmm. All right, Weem. Uh, I'm going to draft you, and I need you to do me a favor and arrest Vortac the Miner. Let's go up there. Get that done. There we go. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Squitch has developed an infection in her arm. Oh, good. All right, so Vortex has been arrested. We'll, uh, we'll put him on... Friendly chat, he gets medicine, and we try to recruit him. All right, that should fix that. Now, what do we do about this, though? What's, what are Weem's thoughts? So he's still starving. Oh, God. Uh, let's take, let's undraft him. Prioritize hauling nutrient paste meal. Where are you going to haul it? So he's, it looks like now Weem is the new doctor. <laughs> okay, so roles have switched, and everyone is trapped inside this little building with no heat either. All right, this is this is bad. I really am losing hope. Oh, and that looks like it. Weem has given up and is walking around in a daze. Oh, man. That sucks. All right, well, I I think that's really it. If I if I hit fast forward on this, we can kind of see what happens next. Uh Squitch's health. Let's see. Whoop. Let's see. Need a doctor. This colonist needs medical care. We have no unhealthy assigned as a doctor. Uh, and then we need a warden. So I think that's about it. If we can't get Squitch any help and Vortec is remaining arrested and Weem just kind of wandered off. Oh, Weem's dead. Oh, Weem just died. <laughs> God damn it. So I guess that's it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this series. Uh... I don't know if I'll be picking up RimWorld again until Alpha 9. Uh, every, it seems like once a month, they update the game. Switch died, we, everyone's dead. <laughs> every month they update RimWorld, and it seems that we could get one in February. And once we hit Alpha 9, I would like to do another colony, but for now, I think that is gonna be the end of our RimWorld Let's Play. We made it 10 episodes, uh, probably, I think that's been the longest I've played a RimWorld Let's Play. What's annoying, let me show you guys something real quick. What's annoying is I was doing so much better off camera. I'm going to show you Danville. Uh, Danville is just one I started playing to try to learn more about the game, and I got really carried away. I think uh, Mojo and I played for hours one night, just tons of RimWorld. We were playing, and I got pretty far at Danville, but this is not going to become a series world or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of show you guys around. So this is Danville, and uh, as you can see, a whole lot better off than uh, the <laughs> Let's Play world. We have Weaver, Corey, Kaori, I don't know, Boots, Back, uh, Bash, Bashkire, and NG. Probably saying all those names wrong. And the way I have them set up, I haven't played this in a while, so I got to kind of look around. It is April 9th. And I think they are in a rainforest biome, which means they're not really going to see winter or anything like that. So I was kind of playing on easy mode with them, to be fair. They're not going to have any problems with like, crops or anything like that. But I set them up in, uh, in a house. They all have their own beds. 
Uh, I started to, I mean, like double beds. I started to get like a little too wealthy for my own good and didn't know what to do. Uh, plenty of power to go around. I didn't even get into like the, the steam power or anything like that. Or research. Uh, well, I did some research. Actually, what, what do we got going on here? Uh, stone cutting. All right, so I just started doing that. This is like a table for making sculptures and artwork and stuff. So, I mean, I am capable of playing this game. <laughs> I just, apparently, winter is still something I have to get used to because ultimately, I, I want to blame winter, but really it was just my tactics for taking care of that monster that fell from the sky. Had I not just run up on it like that, maybe set up some turrets and stuff like that, everyone would still be alive. But you do have to admit, winter was getting us down too. I only had one room that was heated, and all my stuff was outside those that room. So I can kind of assess and figure out my, my mistakes, and hopefully by Alpha 9 and Colony 4 we'll be able to, uh, you know, have a fresh start. And whatever element they add to the game at that point, who knows. But I want to thank you guys once again. Love, love, love RimWorld. Uh, it was one of my top favorite games of 2014, and if we keep playing through 2015, it'll probably be one of my top games once again. And I do hope it remains present on the channel, because I just love playing it. I will see you guys, though, around the channel. Videos every single day. Current running series are now Rising World, Stranded Deep, and uh, Supreme. So, cool. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. So another thing I really like about this game so far is that now we have a prologue, like a story as to why you're stranded on an island. So many survival games kind of miss this part. And I like it, even though it's pretty typical, it's not the most creative story. Oh, there's a plane crash and you're the only survivor, now you're now you're stuck trying to figure it out. Uh, it, it's still kind of nice to see, you know, a story kind of come out of this.